move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Quick throw, complete out wide here to Green. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. To AJ Green. A huge play there on the Again, screen pass. 52 yards. 52 yards. First down, Atlanta. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. the gun. Ray to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. To throw on third down, Ray. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. On first and goal, Gurley. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Tackle Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. To throw on second down, Ray. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? They'll try and push it in with Gurley. I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. How about that stand defensively? The sticks were moving against them. First down after first down was being piled up. They had driven all the way down the field, and then they ran into a wall on third and goal. Nice job regrouping. Very impressive. And his kick is indeed good. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Working out of the gun, Love. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Third and one. Men of the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Let's get it together, defense. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Got his target, Samuel. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpointing here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ring. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers have taken the lead. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. They're on the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Back to throw. Ray. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. Third down here. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. On third down, Ray. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 49-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number two, three and I think the biggest goal of all try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way and he gets this inside the 35 yard line 
Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Back at the 27. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Seven, Falcons, three. Now a second down throw for Love here. A short throw caught by Andrews. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space, kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. To the air again, Love. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the game, number seven of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And this one through the uprights and good. Panthers 14. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Off play action, Ray. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards, the pick up there. First down, Falcons. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Gurley. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Really the ball carrier. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now it's Gurley. 
And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. The Falcons on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw. Ray. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Complete. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. On first down, it's Gurley. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 27-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Ray. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Raise pass. Give him eight on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. From the gun on third down, Ray, and he gets it to Funches complete. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the gun, Ray. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And Shaq tops it here with a pick. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. The second down. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Love, they go play action now. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, 78 yards. And the Panthers add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. At their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I 
just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? You yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Looking to throw on second down. Ray. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Derek Brown. Make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Throwing on third and long. Ray, and he's got the hook up here. It's Kyle Rudolph. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. First down, Atlanta. Operating from the gun, Ray firing quickly here, and that's complete. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the gun on third down, Ray. He's got his man here. It's Green. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. From the gun, Ray. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Three yards the gain there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A very quick pass to Ridley. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of seven. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun. Ray. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. to throw again. Ray. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. This one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. It's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. It's second and the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now that run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. McCaffrey on the handle. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Off the play fake, Love. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards and a Panther first down. At the 49-yard line. Samuel, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Love from the gun. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. 
And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the two-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And for a second straight play, just nowhere to go thanks to this Carolina defense. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And it's third down. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Hunter Renfro, 99 yards. And the Falcons get a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Play action this time with Love. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one goes for 30 yards. First and 10 at the 45 yards. Inside line. four minutes to go, third quarter. First down, going to the air with Love. And he whips that one incomplete there. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gate of about five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Completes it to Samuel. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they had maybe given up momentum, and not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and taken. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A 
about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Gurley with a carry on first down. He'll only get a couple. Second and eight, fourth coming. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. To throw on second down. Ray. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. To throw on third down. Ray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Got a little antsy there from his Mike linebacker position. Partner, there's times you think you've timed up the quarterback's cadence. You think you've got a read on it. He might have thought it on that play. He was wrong. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 25-yard line. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. He's brought down. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. On play action, love to throw. 
On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But normally, you might say, start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. On the ground, McCaffrey. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They get this out left, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And this offense on third down today, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. From the gun, Love. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. To be frank, you really have to feel for them. And this is appearing to not be their week yet again. So another loss in the cards as they trail big in quarter number four. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Back to throw. Ray, that's complete to Smith. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And Green with a catch left side. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Falcons. Off 
separating from the gun. Way flinches with a catch over the middle. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a pass swung out and left to his running back. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. This pass into the hands of the running back, Todd Gurley. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Gurley again here on first down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Quick throw out left, that's caught. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On oh, third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Panthers will get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't matter. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And they'll indeed take a knee. The ball resting on their own five here as they come up to the line on second and long. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. In the face. And they will take a knee here. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting, but obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. 
So for Carolina, the win will move them to seven and two now on the year. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Houston Texans next week. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, it's another week, another loss as they fall now to 0-9. And, and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everyone.